Hi guys, continuing year from the previous lesson. Let's see how we can achieve these results on a chart script. Okay, can you also get the information? So, here I have my, my chart is good. I'm going to bring you with the information there in the month. Assuming I didn't change the script, right? Replace visual. I have the information of the year, month, okay? Within this year month information, I want to bring one more information, which is the total sum of my values, right? So I'm going to name it as sales, for example. Sales to make it easier for my script. I have from January to July here, but I want to bring the 2019 bar. How do I include the 2019 bar year? Look, I'm using the information here. Month year, I'm going to bring year to a notepad to make it easier. My notes then be able to use here in the chart script and I have the sales measure here, okay? How does the chart script work? It basically works like the application's load script, okay? But it has so different commands, right? Some different functions in the part that it can work. How the script can work instead of the load from that we have in the script. Load, the chart script, it only gives resident, okay? It gives resident in both the hypercube and the tables that you already have in memory of the application. So we will be using it here to make the value of 2019. I will give you where to include script, C, you have your dimensions here. I have the measures and down here I have my script. Chart script, okay? Chart script. So here in my chart script, for example, I have the edge command where I can be adding it to the hypercube of my chart. The hypercube is like a table. It's like a table of the chart. So the chart is bringing me a table with year, month, year and sales. Okay. I will be adding here is the load, then I will be putting here, see, my month, year. It will be called total, total. My month year will be called total, and my sales here will be called good. It will be called sales, right? I will give the sales here. I will put you sales. Resident. Resident HC1, which is the hypercube of my char. Okay, I will give you the group boy. Group by, uh, there is no group by, just that. Group by would be if I had another level of dimension. But that is not the case. I don't have it here. I only have one dimension, right? I will give an apply. And I have here. See my total in the chart script. See you map my total. See. 2 comma 20 million. I have 2 comma 20 million you too. If I wanted to include together an average or some other type of calculation of the last 3 months, I can also, okay? I can continue this script here, just like I can write a next script. It works like a load script, remember? This here is like a session, okay? So I will create another session called script2. This other session, I will put here that I want the average. Yeah, I will put here, CABG. Include the average. So I have you my total, I have you my average. And now, if by any chance I want to change the sorting, I will only be able to change the data that is generated before the script. Okay, because the script is generated after the entire data hypercube, right? Classification, all this is done. So okay, so we will come here, see classification, if we miss with the classification here. For example, it is ascending, I will put descending. See, observe that it only changes the ones in front. See the totals and the average, they. They are generated after this chart is kind of plotted, right? After the chart's hypercube is generated, so I will put here ascending. See, here it only changes the charts in front, okay? Well, 
That's it, right? We can add u the part of the average of the total. It is possible to redo this hypercube and put it in the classification you want, but that's for a topic for next lesson. So, as requested, right? I don't know if anyone has this need. I hope it helped. With today's topic, which is the charts inserting information through the chart skirt. Okay? I wish you all great success and see you in the next video. Thanks.